Hello, Hardware Thrift here, and today I'm going to be going over how you can cut out objects in Inkscape and use it for some basic Photoshopping. And this, this tutorial is going to be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you've never used Inkscape before, it's actually a good starting point to learning some of the uh, tools and different things you can do in Inkscape. So today, our main goal is we want to take this hat, we want to cut it out from the border we got it pulled in with, and we want to put it on top of this cat. Because if you notice right now, if we zoom in, that this hat has these white bars right here, which makes it seem like it doesn't fit on the cat's head very well. So we're going to cut that out, so we just have the shape of this hat, and we're going to put it on the cat's head so we can have a nice cat in the hat. So we're going to be using three main tools here. We're going to be using our generic mouse to drag around and manipulate the objects, so make them bigger and smaller. Same thing with our cat over here. And then we're going to be using our Edit Pass by Node tool. And we're also going to be using our Draw Bezier Curves and Straight Lines tool. So we're actually going to start out with that. And so with this tool, you can left click and it'll put down a node and from there you can actually start putting down nodes and we want to make them the general shape of this hat and we're going to put down nodes all the way across it it's going to take a few seconds every time you place down a node you're going to place it with a right click and then release again and if you notice it'll keep on going I'm clicking some of the corner spots because you'll see why I do this a little later on. You can keep clicking these corner points and go there, 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 and then to finish off this, when you connect it to this node right here, it'll give you a finished product. So now we have a basic outline of the hat, but if you notice there's portions of the hat when we zoom in that are kind of hanging out there. So we want this line to completely cover that. And that's where this node or uh, node to path tool comes in. So if you notice, once we get over a line, we can see the nodes. So we can grab those nodes and we can move those around if we want. As well as we can grab this line and by pushing and pulling and then using these scroll tools right here, we can manipulate this line to better fit the shape of our hat. So we're going to pull that up a bit over here. We're going to pull this around this corner. And this is how you're going to get that general outline that you want for your hat for when you cut it out. So we're going to continue doing that all the way around. Just get it nice and bezeled out. There we go. We're going to pull this one in a little bit. Same with down here. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. And then for these larger curves, same thing as we did before. We're just going to pull them out. We're actually going to pull this node in so that we can take these and round this corner by pulling these in. And if you notice, we got that corner nice and rounded now. So this part is pretty straightforward. If you, if you don't want to actually mess with the nodes, you can also come in and when you're putting down with your bezier tool you can just follow the lines exactly instead of making these straight lines and then curving them out after you're done so it's another way you can do it it just takes a little bit longer on the initial building of your uh, of your hat so we're gonna scroll in so we can pull this out a little bit better there so it kind of looks like that's getting dipped in. Perfect. We're going to pull that out. Pull that out. We don't need it to be perfect for now. We just want it to look like a hat. There we go. That one looks good. And then we're going to pull that out. Actually, we're going to keep that just like it is. All right. So now we have the shaped outlined. We have the shape of the hat that we want to pull out. So what we're going to do, we actually have two objects here. We have the line we just made and we also have the hat. So we're going to go select both of those. Now you can see that there's two dotted lines indicating that we have both of those select. 
we're going to go into our objects we're going to go into clip and we're going to set our clip and so now what that does if you notice we only have one object now and everything inside that bezel line or that bezier line is now cut out so you notice we don't have that white border around the hat anymore which means we can manipulate it a little bit to fit on our buddy here uh, maybe maybe twist it a bit he's got a little bit of a crooked head so we're gonna double click and then twist pull down some more and there you go you have a cat in a hat and that's just a basic introduction of how we can do that but if you want to go more in depth you can uh, cut out more complicated shapes so like if I wanted to I could cut out this cat and it's just a good start for if you want to start overlaying different shapes onto uh, or overlaying things into other pictures and so on and so forth so I hope you found this short tutorial on cutting out objects in Inkscape useful um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any questions or concerns Make sure to leave them down in the comments and I'll do comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, thank you.